Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. For today's recipe, we're gonna prepare this amazing salsa recipe made with chile ancho, chiles de arbol, and tomatillo. Very few ingredients are added to the salsa, but believe me, the flavor is amazing. We're gonna start by removing the stems and the seeds from two chile ancho. You may also know these peppers as chile pasilla. These peppers are very tough and they're a little bit hard to open. I start by bending them a bit, then removing the stem. Then I open it up to remove the seeds and the vines. These peppers are not spicy, but they do add a lot of flavor and color to salsas and paste. They have a slight smoky flavor with the hint of paprika. If you're familiar with poblano peppers, this is just the dry form of a poblano pepper. Next, I'm gonna remove the stems from 20 to 25 chiles de arbol. These are the last of my chiles de arbol, so a lot of them are just bits and pieces, but we're not gonna let those go to waste. We're gonna use those as well. I don't remove the seeds from the chiles de arbol because that's what's gonna add the heat to our salsa. So if you don't want it too spicy, you can remove them or you can leave them in. If you want it extra spicy, you can add more of the chiles de arbol or if you want it less spicy, you can use less of the chiles de arbol. Now we're gonna take these over to the stove and lightly toast them for about one to two minutes with frequent movement. By lightly toasting the peppers first, it brings out the flavor of the peppers and it makes your salsa much more flavorful. When toasting them, you wanna make sure you move them around often. You don't want the peppers to burn, otherwise you're gonna end up with a bitter sauce. You'll know they're ready when they become nice and fragrant. Once it reaches that point, add one and a half cups of water. Bring to a simmer, then remove it from the burner and cover for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they completely cool down. While we wait for the peppers to cool down, in a separate pan, we're gonna roast 10 tomatillos. Before doing so, make sure to remove the husk and give them a good rinse with warm water to remove the sticky residue. Pat them dry with a clean paper towel and roast them over medium high heat for about 12 to 15 minutes, turning them over frequently. Once they start to turn a pale green color, remove each one individually. Some of them may roast a lot faster than the others, depending on the size of the tomatillo. Now we're just gonna make some room to add half an onion roughly chopped and about five to six garlic cloves. I like to add a lot of garlic to my salsa, but you can add less or you can add more depending on your taste. The onion and the garlic are done in less time, which is why we're adding these last. Once the onion is lightly caramelized and the garlic is slightly blistered, remove that as well. This salsa tastes delicious if you make it in the molcajete, but if you don't have one, I'm gonna show you a trick on how you can prepare it in the blender and it comes out just like if you prepared it in the molcajete. We're gonna start by blending the peppers first, including the water from the pan. And we're also gonna add in the onion and the garlic and about a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna blend these ingredients first for about 30 seconds to one minute or until it's nice and smooth. Once it reaches that point, we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna add in the tomatillos. Once you add in the tomatillos, give it a couple good pulses. I give it about five good pulses. This is gonna leave the tomatillos a little bit chunky, just like if you prepared it in the molcajete. But if you prefer your salsa a little bit smoother, you can blend for about 30 seconds to a minute. My mom used to prepare this salsa many times. And although I never got the recipe from her, I think I finally nailed it because it tastes so much like hers. Use it to enhance the flavor to any of your favorite dishes. In this case, we're gonna enjoy it on a delicious arepa or gordita. You can also use it on quesadillas or any of your favorite dishes that you want to add a little bit of spice to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.